we encourage our athletes to start preparing their highlight tapes. Now, for athletes to get the to get their to get the edge, um, when when would be a good time to start sending out tapes? Like, say specifically to your program. Well, I think uh, you know, for guys that are uh, number one. Uh, you know, one of the greatest things also about your program is you're teaching these young guys to be proactive. And I think in Canada, more than anything in our sport of football, uh, if you sit and wait by the phone, it, it might not ring very often. So being proactive and, and, and uh, you know, preparing yourself and preparing your tape and, 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 and going through a great training program that you guys have and a great skills program and technique and, and the teachings and being involved in that, number one, that's important. Uh, number two, uh, making sure that you know, latest situation is the beginning of January and it's out there. I mean, obviously if you can, right when your season's done and before Christmas, get a head start. But the month of January, I think, is such a key time for any league, whether it's junior or CIS, that you're going to uh, going to play. So, And then for the guys that are younger in grade 10 and grade 11, there's nothing wrong with doing that and sending your film out and being pre-active, pre you know, and, and, and going after it. And, uh, you know, letting coaches know in two years I'll be eligible to be you know, playing at the junior level or the CIS level and, and create options and create choices. And, uh, you know, the most important thing in, in, in life, uh, I truly believe, it, it, is to create choices. And, and I think one of the hardest things in life is to make choices. So, uh, but you got to create them. And, and the guys that are proactive to it, uh, that join great programs like yourself, uh, that, that's what makes a difference. Well, I think number one, uh, well, the biggest uh, thing to me is, is, is uh, you know, you set your training program to your spring camps. You know, uh, don't don't worry about the season when it starts. Whether it's uh, you know uh, in July, you know, then July, like in the BCFC, or if it's a little later, the Prairie Conference, or even later if it's the CIS. But set it for you know I, the biggest thing for these young guys is, is is set your path to start in April or May when you, when you identify what camps you're going to. And hit those camps in the best shape you possibly can. Um, a lot of camps are pretty intense, and, and once again, your first time ever really competing against, you know, guys that are up to five years, four years older than you. And that's that conditioning that really makes a difference. Um, you know, getting involved in, in, in programs uh, such as yourself, the program that you guys run, being involved in something like that to help prepare yourself. And then last, the biggest thing is 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 having a drive, knowing for sure this is what you want to do, right? And set your time to it, set your goals to it, and then go and get it. And, uh, and be proactive, make calls, talk to coaches, be excited about the next level. Uh, every head coach in the world loves it when a player calls them and, and, and lets them know he's interested in the program. Uh, that's what we love as head coaches. So uh, be proactive, go after it, you know, and, and train and get yourself ready for April. Don't get yourself ready for July because that's too late.